Yeah, good morning. It is. So we are actually standing in the new roundabout, which sits next to uh, the new Tahoma High School and the new Summit Park. They just put these plants in a couple of months ago, and already there are now holes where some of these plants used to be. Now, city leaders say that this isn't new to the city. They've been dealing with a string of plant thefts for the past couple of years. City leaders even invested $120,000 in security at Lake Wilderness Park, which is also no stranger to plant thefts. Just a month ago, plants were stolen from Lake Wilderness Park and now this. Well, they're stealing from everybody, so it is frustrating. I just hope that people are, are paying attention and that, that they do get caught because I, I don't think it's right and they know it's not right. They're doing it in the middle of the night, so I would hope that they would stop and be more ethical. And the city manager estimates that at least $600 worth of plants were stolen from this new roundabout near Tahoma High School. A weeping cedar tree was stolen along with a handful of other plants. It is unclear whether the string of plant thefts, uh, whether these uh, plant thefts are all connected, but city staff suspect whoever stole from this roundabout knew the worth of the plants that they were stealing and decided to take the ones a little bit higher in value. Now, whoever this is could face up to a year in jail in a $5,000 dollar fine and things could change from there depending on how much they are stealing the value of what they are stealing and also how much damage they leave behind so if you see anything police in the city are urging you to give them a call they want to catch this person they really just want to find out who's doing this i'll send it back to you guys not a victim victimless crime kira thank